Care of Iowa. Health plan rates are no big mystery. They're basically determined by hospital costs, costs from the insurance company that owns the plan, and charges by doctors providing treatment. But look what happens when someone eliminates the middleman. That's the whole idea behind Secure Care. It's owned by more than 300 Central Iowa physicians and Mercy Hospital, not an insurance company. Now you have a very real choice. Secure Care of Iowa. Finally, someone has done something about the cost of health care. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed your Labor Day and didn't labor too much. Zach Taylor there in the background. A beautiful night it was for baseball and a beautiful night for just about anything you wanted to do out there. Temperature 78 degrees, clear skies. Winds out of the east right now at 8 miles per hour. The dew point a little less, 60 degrees. Relative humidity 54%. And the barometer 30.10, and it is steady. Hurricane Luis, a tremendous storm now tracking to the west at just 12 miles per hour. There's Puerto Rico right now. These are the Leeward Islands underneath the spirals there. Virgin Islands there, even Grenada, down to the south. Again, packing maximum sustained winds of 140 miles per hour. A Category 4 hurricane, which means extensive damage. So this definitely will be in the news over the next couple of days and could potentially continue towards the United States, but that's still up in the air. Worried right now about the Virgin Islands, really, and Puerto Rico. Satellite picture closer to home, the Ridge Build-In once again. All the weather systems going up over the top, so another quiet night ahead and with the clear skies and light winds. Probably see some patchy fog forming in the low-lying areas out there. Temperatures across the region right now, 68 in Waterloo, 68 names are high today. 87 degrees, the fourth 80 degree plus day in a row this September, low 64, 76 in Ottumwa, 77 in Lamoni, and 76 in Council Bluffs. For tonight, weak little system tracking in from the north, but all the energy in the atmosphere is well off to the west. There was some heat across the nation today. Matter of fact, Denver, Colorado, 97 degrees. That's as warm as they've ever been in September. Grand Junction over there, world's largest flat top mountain, the Grand Mason over that way. 100 degrees, 102 in College Station, Texas, 100 in Houston, 98 down in Lake Charles, Louisiana, and even 88 degrees up in International Falls, all those records. For tomorrow, this system tracks a little closer. A few thunderstorms may fire in South Dakota and catch the northwestern part of the state. But all in all, it looks to be a dry one. By Wednesday, this system is going to get headed our way and will bring us a chance of rain and eventually some cooler temperatures. High temperatures tomorrow, though, in the 80s, 70s to the northeast, and 90s back and through Nebraska and Kansas. The forecast for tonight, it goes like this. Clear skies against some areas of fog out there. Low temperature down at 64 degrees. Winds will be low. Tuesday, another one, more of the same. And I'm working mostly sunny, a high of 87, so another tough day. Tuesday night, partly cloudy, low of 65 degrees. And for Wednesday, the changes begin. Partly sunny, a 40% chance of thunderstorms, a high of 86 degrees. Here's the five-day forecast. Some folks saying it's too hot today. Well, you'll get your chance headed towards next weekend. Temperatures going down. Cool air building in Canada. We'll get our first taste. High of 77 on Saturday. A low of 57 and a threat for rain from Thursday, Friday, and early Saturday. Looks to be out of here for the latter part of the weekend, though, so not a washout. All right, good enough. Thank you, Curtis. There's a roundup going on in Dayton tonight. And Virginia Huey has the details from our Ames Live link when we come back. Most health care plans only pay for health care when you're sick. Hi, Katie. I see that you brought your daddy with you today. Unity Choice pays to keep you healthy, too. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. With paid physicals, exams, well baby care. Look straight ahead while I check your eyes. And immunizations. That wasn't so bad, was it? Good girl. <laughs> Unity Choice, the lower cost health care plan that pays to keep you healthy, too. Menards has great price cuts on McCulloch Chainsaws. All McCulloch Chainsaws are on sale now, including this powerful 14-inch bottle. Great for clearing brush, trimming trees, and more. Just $98.95. Your pet will be right at home in a dog loop Cape Cod doghouse. It features sturdy insulated walls for comfort, plus a snap-on top for easy cleaning. Just $38.88. Save at Menards on all your pet projects. Save big money at Menards. Interact with News Channel 8 on Prodigy at Jump CBS. Interact with News Channel 8 on America Online at KCCI. Interact with News Channel 8 on CompuServe at 73762-750. The heat is on! 
The heat is on. The Big Mercury Clearance Countdown now at your Lincoln Mercury dealer with deals on some of the year's best cars, like the Rooney Mercury Sable with standard V6 power and savings of up to $3,200. Or save up to $2,300 on Mercury Villager, the minivan that drives like a car. And there's more. Mercury Mystique, the sports sedan that made car and driver's 10 best list, is now available with up to $1,200 in savings. So get to the Mercury Clearance Countdown the heat is at your Lincoln Mercury dealer now. It's just too early to make decisions. But I have to decide on breakfast. So I go to Burger King for a flaky Chris sandwich, now for only 99 cents. But then, do I get it to stay or to go? Breakfast at Burger King. Who decided at what point that it was acceptable to fry a burger? I'm sorry, but burgers taste best cooked over an open flame. I take the Whopper Jr. A hunk of beef cooked over actual fire for only 99 cents. Right? Burger King. Get your burgers worth. The Wild West rode into Dayton, Iowa for the 58th annual National Championship Rodeo. More than 700 cowboys and cowgirls from all around the country were there competing for a purse worth $40,000. Virginia Huey of our exclusive Ames Live Link attended the rodeo today and joins us now with a roundup of the event. Virginia, how was it? Well, Cynthia, there were plenty of brave riders at the National Championship Rodeo today, but the medal for bravery should probably go to the rodeo bullfighters. Now, these bullfighters look like clowns, but the purpose of their job is no laughing matter. When the bulls bolt out of the gates with the might and fury of dynamite, Clint Wildman Silar doesn't clown around. My boy's down, getting hooked by a bull, getting in there and protecting him, and, and uh, that's probably about the toughest because you got to be the one that takes a hooking by the bull before the uh, cowboy. Silar's high-stepping hijinks looks like fun and games, but his antics often mean the difference between life or limb for the riders. When a cowboy gets toppled, it takes split-second reflexes to steer a raging bull or a bucking bronco from trampling him. If you think about being scared, you're not going to do your job because you don't have time to think out there. You have to react. It's second nature. You don't, you don't take time to think. Despite the dangers, bullfighters are often mistaken for clowns by the crowds. It's the traditional face paint, the funny hats, and the baggy pants that fools them. <laughs> But bullfighters say the misconception and mishaps in the arena are worth the charge they get from going head-to-head -head with a 2,000-pound menace. My biggest thrill is to be able to take a hooking from a bull to save a cowboy. That just makes it gets your adrenaline pumping, and it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, but the bullfighters admit they don't get paid big bucks for what they do. They say their greatest reward is the cowboy's gratitude for saving their lives. Kevin and Cynthia? Tough work. You can Scary do that, too. right, Kevin? Oh, man. Well, thank <laughs> you, right, Virginia. Thank you. Well, the I-Cubs say goodbye to the 1995 season. Did they go out with a win? John Walters has I-Cubs highlights and more coming up next. If you've been waiting for clearance prices at your Dodge dealer, don't miss the Dodge Buyer's Choice Final Cleanup. Perhaps your last chance to choose generous savings and values or to clean up on exceptional interest rates or to choose extremely low lease rates that might not be trimmed this low again. So hurry in today before your best Dodge choices are all cleaned out. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Introducing Reliance STS Seed and Herbicide System. Two forces made to work together. One powerful tool for growth. DuPont Reliance STS. The seed, the herbicide, the system. Homemakers display more room packages than any other furniture store in this area at everyday discount prices. This attractive sofa, love seat, and three tables, $4.99. Includes all Homemakers warranties, $4.99. Any of these room packages, sofa, love seat, three tables, $5.99. A variety of styles, the latest in colors, $5.99. You'll pay much more at other stores supposedly on sale. But Homemakers gives you discount prices every day. Shop both locations. They grow up so fast. In a heartbeat, the moment is past. I wish my little girl could stay four years old forever. That smile is like a treasure. Hold on to it forever. 
she's not going to. So I'm going to take lots of pictures and I'm going to take my film to Walmart every time because I know they're going to do a good job. And besides, I'm going to be there anyway. Save on pictures where you save on film. Always low prices. Always Walmart. News Channel 8 investigates. Jeff Greenwood showed you how park and recreation workers were taking you for a ride and how your tax dollars were going up in smoke. Janine Johnson showed you how your garage door could be an open invitation to burglars. Investigations that dig deeper. What are you doing? Reports that get results. If you know something or someone that needs investigating, call our special investigate hotline at 247-8803. Jeff Greenwood and Janine Johnson, the investigate team, only on News Channel 8. Fantastic news for a Drake softball player tonight. Yeah, their program is really up and coming, and uh, this player, one of the big reasons why. Quite an accomplishment today for Drake softball player Danny Tyler. She's one of just 15 players named today to the first U.S. Olympic softball team. Tyler is a senior at Drake this fall. She's already the Missouri Valley Conference all-time leader in hits and home runs and a three-time all-conference shortstop. So congratulations to her. The Iowa Cubs finished up their season tonight on a high note. Let's go to Sec Taylor, where an injured hand kept Mike Carter out of the lineup, but he still clinched the league batting title. The I-Cubs would jump in front of Oklahoma City in the second inning. Mike Hubbard, the catcher, starting the rally with a rare triple to straightaway center field. Hubbard would later come around to score for a 1-0 lead. Then in the fifth inning, Manny Martinez would single to left, and that scored Freddie Benavides, and the route was on. The I-Cubs winning it by a 7-1 final. They finished with a 69-74 record. There were several big accomplishments along the way. Carter's 325 batting average leads the league. First time an I-Cub has done that. Brooks Kieschnick led the American Association in home runs. And for the sixth year in a row, the I-Cubs broke their season attendance record. In Chicago today, Sammy Sosa continuing his rampage on National League pitching. This one just hugging the foul line. 33rd homer for Sosa. He's hit 13 in the last three weeks. And Frank Castillo didn't need much help. He went the distance on a five-hit shutout. Two-nothing the final Cubbies right in the thick of the wild card race right now. Let's go to the scoreboard. Cincinnati, a 6-1 to winner over Houston. San Francisco rallied to beat Montreal. New York and San Diego are in extra innings. Florida knocked off Pittsburgh. Atlanta scored in the ninth to beat the Cards. The Dodgers lead the Phillies. In the American League, Toronto and Kansas City split a doubleheader. Minnesota, a 9-6 winner over Milwaukee. New York puts the hurt on Seattle. Tigers edge the Indians. California beat Baltimore. Cal Ripken, by the way, will break Lou Gehrig's record tomorrow. And the, or tie the record tomorrow, I should say. And the White Sox are all over Texas tonight. No big upsets again today at the U.S. Open. You see all kinds of headgear at this championship, including a couple of fans right here. And, of course, the bandana one, Andre Agassi, the top seed, playing some good tennis again today against fellow American Jared Palmer. You know, it's one thing to be able to get to these shots like Agassi does, but to do with him what he does, that's amazing. Also today, as Agassi wins in straight sets, Boris Becker moving on as well. On the women's side, Monica Sellis signing in for today's match with Anka Huber. Glad that's not one of our cameras. Monica doing a lot of smiling these days, and she has good reason. A remarkable comeback after, of course, that stabbing a couple of years ago. Watch the get right here. Terrific shot to hit it deep and then set up a couple of powerful backhands. And the winner, Sellis, hasn't lost a set in this tournament. She's on to the quarterfinals. Fifth seed, Yana Novotna, also winning today. Monday Night Football making its 1995 debut tonight with a blowout. Dallas jumped out to a 21-0 halftime lead on the Giants. It's now 28-0 Cowboys in the third. An honor today for Iowa State running back Troy Davis. The sophomore was named the Big 8 Conference Offensive Player of the Week. And who could argue, Davis rushed for a school record 291 yards and three touchdowns to lead Iowa State over Ohio University, the Cyclones' first win since 1993. Hope you're all ready now for another batch of games for Heidi's Pigskin Picks. Try picking the winners of these six games, Northern Iowa at Iowa, UCLA at BYU, and I'm going to slow down because I know you're trying to write these down. Nebraska at Michigan State, mm -hmm. Illinois at Oregon, Notre Dame at Purdue, Ooh. and Iowa State at Texas Christian. Pick the winners and the total number of points for all six games combined and send them on a postcard only, please, to Pick Skin Picks, News Channel 8, 888 9th Street, Des Moines, 50309. Entries must be here by midnight Friday, and good luck. And our play of the day came early this morning at the MDA Schlotsky's Bun Run out at Waterworks Park. First of all, News Channel 8's Deirdre Fitzpatrick skydiving to follow up on a telethon dare, then check out what happens.
We're going to pan over here real quickly. We've got the winner of the uh, 10K race coming in right here behind the Coonies. We can see the Coonies coming in first. There's Alex and Kevin Cooney. And behind them is Chris Stapes, and he's going to try to catch Kevin. It's going to be a terrific finish. Kevin Please getting the outside. Down. There's Chris Stapes at the wire. He's the winner of the 10K race, finishing just ahead of Alex and Kevin Cooney in their 5K finish. Very Great. courteous move on your part to get <laughs> sure. in that passing lane. Pull out of the way. Hey, at least we, you made it to the finish well, line. We, we know now that we have to run exactly twice as fast. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, it's, we, we timed that out just perfectly. Yeah. Next year. Next year. It's always next year, Next Kevin. lifetime. <laughs> Great play-by-play, -play, by the way, John. Uh, no problem. And great play of the day, John. <laughs> one of those Do You Believe in Miracles calls. <laughs> we'll be right back. I'm Janine Johnson. And I'm Jason Hoffman. For the very latest in breaking news. And up to the minute weather and traffic. Join us tomorrow morning at 6 for News Channel 8 This Morning. In a perfect world, every car runs on ethanol. Every bus runs on soy diesel. And one corn hybrid is all you need. Until then... We have the right hybrids for the real world. Hello, hello, hello. I didn't know you were so hot. Oh, mm, you make me feel so satisfied. Subway has a sandwich for chicken lovers everywhere. The hot grilled chicken sandwich with fresh baked bread, tender grilled chicken breast that's 96% fat free, plus free fixins. Wow! What a sandwich. <gasps> the hot grilled chicken from Subway. <gasps> Our son Patrick was a good kid, a real hard worker. Two years ago, Patrick was crushed to death in the feed mill where he worked. The company thought they could get away with breaking the law. Patrick was just 19 years old when he died. Now, the Republicans in Congress are cutting health and safety. Protections I know can save lives. If they succeed, more people will die. Tell Republican Congressman Gansky to stop cutting health and safety so other families don't lose their loved ones. A special report. The Chevy Lumina minivan now with $1,000 cash back. Anti-lock brakes, airbag, and modular seating. We interrupt this special report with a bulletin. $1,000 cash back and also durable composite body panels that will never ever rust. 36,000 mile warranty and lots more. Save $1,000 in Central Iowa. You can't interrupt a special report with a bulletin. Says who? Says me, that's who. Listen. It's Headline News. The new Lumina minivan with 1000 cash back at your 50 Central Iowa Chevy dealers. Curtis back again for one more look at a pretty good forecast. Yeah, it sure is. I want to mention that road race again. Oh, let's, <laughs> let's, let's mostly let's sunny, a high of 87. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Curtis. Finally, look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Deirdre Fitzpatrick. No, <laughs> these 50-year-old Stearman biplanes soaring into the skies over Ames today, part of a 200-city fundraising tour by the Red Baron Frozen Pizza Company. These pictures coming to us on the Ames Live link. The company launching the event to increase pizza sales, obviously, but also to help running, uh, raise money for local charities. In this case, the youth sports complex being built in Ames. The more pizzas sold, the more money to the complex. They got about $1,000 out. Good for them. Eat pizza. Have a good night. From New York, who the hell am I? It's The Late Show with David Letterman. Tonight.